Hey gang, this is Mike with MrNoFluff.com and today I'm going to talk about how I made $9,119 in just one month. Actually, it took about, about four days of work in that one month. Now, before I give you how I exactly I did it, okay, I'd like to give you a backstory how I came up with an idea. I had just recently got married and I had two new kids. Okay, and if you guys have been following me on my YouTube channel, you know that I came to America as a refugee, slept in my car after college, and with the hundred bucks, I was able to turn that into three successful businesses, which I own debt-free for 14 years. However, I was not happy, no matter if I bought myself a $100,000 Mercedes SL550, or if I bought myself seven motorcycles from Ducati's to BMW to Harley's, or if I opened more stores or locations, or if I bought more rental houses, after a short period of time, I was not happy. And I was lucky enough to come to a conclusion by reading books like The Alchemist to realize that I had a problem, I had a disease of consumption accumulation I wanted more and more and more and that was the reason I wasn't happy because happiness joy bliss does not come from external stuff it, be, it comes from my own brain chemistry I came to a conclusion after building these small empire as a refugee to America from a hundred bucks to multi millions of dollars by age of 26 where I decided to give everything up to the homeless people well, majority of my stuff to the homeless people and and go and do what Buddha and Jesus did, which is to go with and walk with the homeless and sleep with the homeless. And that's exactly what I did. So fast forward a little bit. I was married, newly married. I had two new kids, uh, very, very young. I didn't have a business because, because I had let go of my businesses. I've given it to the homeless people. I donated them. I didn't have a job. Uh, my wife didn't have a job. So I was in a tough situation to provide for my family. And this is where I basically closed my eyes and did meditation and try to figure out a best side hustle that I could use because I'm a master of creativity since high school, since college. I've never had a job. I worked for myself and I knew exactly what I wanted and what I didn't want. So I'm gonna share with you some of the stuff that I wanted. I wanted to you know, make a six-figure business. I wanted to make it really fast, okay? I wanted to make it where it was easy. I didn't want to have a complicated business because I've already owned a moving company with multiple locations from Dallas, Houston, Austin, and those were complicated. I had movers, I had to take phones, I had to do claims, so on and so on. Uh, I, I knew that I wanted a business where I could start with 100 bucks, just like I did with my moving company that made me millions of dollars. Um, but I didn't want to have all the infrastructure like my moving company. I needed to have trucks. I needed to have 3,000 square foot of office. I needed to have a, um, what I ca call the courtyard for my trucks to park. I needed an acre of that. And so I needed a lot of infrastructure. Okay, where every store I opened up, like when I went to Austin, I needed a store. When I went to Houston, I needed a store front. I, I didn't want to deal with all that because, again, I was just newly married. I knew that I didn't want to have so much accumulations because I'm a minimalist now. But what I wanted was the most important thing for me was to spend time with my kids and my family. So I wanted a business where I didn't, I, I only could start with a hundred bucks. I didn't have to manage a lot of people. I didn't have to have, you know, all this overhead, like business overhead, phones, internet, uh, office buildings, and so on and so on and so on. And I wanted it easy and fast. And that's where I came in to, you know, flipping bikes, right? Flipping bikes. And today I'm going to show, share with you, uh, if you're interested in making some good money, how you can start flipping bikes in your own backyard uh, with just a hundred dollars. So the story, fast forward a little bit, you know, uh, I got into my car because I didn't have any place to work, right? I'm, I'm now living in a small apartment uh, with a family of for a one bedroom apartment and I need a side hustle, right? I need a side hustle. So I'm, I'm sitting in my car and that's, just, that's my office now because you know, I have kids, I have no place to work and, and, and I'm creating a manual on what I want to do to make this money happen really fast. And I came up with an idea, which is the flipping bikes. And the reason I came up with the idea of flipping bikes is because I love to ride bikes, right? You know, there's many, 
times on my YouTube channel, you see me doing 100 miles in a day, 60 miles in a day. So, uh, but I never bought bikes used before. I've always bought my bikes new, nor did I know how to do any mechanical works on bikes or anything like that, um, or any of that stuff. But I knew that there was a lot of demand for bikes because everywhere you go, there's a bike store. In every state, there's a bike store. And bike is a bike business is a billion dollar business. Look at track, look at Specialized, it's Cannondale, and so on and so on, okay? So I knew there was a high demand for it to sell, and there's also high demand to buy. And you know, and I knew that a lot of people, because I got a degree in fitness, that majority of people that bought their bikes hardly ever used it. So they bought a really expensive bike, but they were obese or sedentary or whatever. They hardly used it, just kind of like fitness equipment. So I wrote a manual, and it was like 29 pages because, you know, I learned by having multiple businesses for 14, 15 years debt free that I have to write my brain, my ideas in my brain on paper and have it in a structured way for myself to know exactly what I knew. So I, I, I define who my audience was. My audience is to, to buy from motivated sellers. People that are motivated can be financially motivated. Hey, I need this money now. Or they're motivated because like, I need to clean my garage. I'm tired of having this bike here. I have all this stuff here. I have all this junk here. Or, or, or they're paying for a storage facility and they just want to get rid of it. So I define who my audience was, which is motivated sellers that, that have a bike and they want to sell. Okay, I, I, I decided exactly how I'm going to buy the, buy the bike. I'm going to buy the bike at a deep discount and then I'm going to sell it at a discount. Let me give you an example. Uh, bikes are $500, I'm gonna buy them for 100, and then they're worth 500, then I'm gonna sell them for 400, so they move really, really fast. So I, I, I defined that, and, and I defined many other ideas, and then I put it to the test. I, I went and got it on Craigslist, and I ended up giving offers to sellers, and I got my very first deal. Okay, where I bought the bike for a hundred and then I sold it for six ninety seven, almost seven hundred dollars, guys, uh, which is like seven hundred percent. And I was sold that this is the gig for me because I only had to use a hundred bucks. I didn't have have any special tools or anything like that. Now let me get back into my computer and let me show you all the deals that I've done. Let me give you the proof and, and show you how I made this money. All right, I'm back at my computer and let me show you the proof. I bought this specialized bike for $150 and I sold it for $900. Okay, $897 bucks. Normally, people give me the remaining three bucks as a tip, okay, because I don't have change. So I sold it for $900 bucks, and guess what? I sold this bike in 19 hours after I bought it. Okay, again, let me explain my strategy to you. I buy it at a deep discount and then I sell it at a discount. Okay, this exact bike will go over a thousand dollars on the fair market, twelve, thirteen, fourteen hundred bucks. So I price it aggressively on the sell side. So I bought it at a deep discount and then I sold it at a discount. The next deal, it was a track, it was a gorgeous bike. I paid a hundred bucks for it. Excuse me, and then I sold it for 397 bucks, guys. And again, this was a very, very fast move. I sold it in just a couple of days. Okay, the next deal, I pay, I paid 100 bucks for it. It's a beautiful track bike, and then I sold it for 497 dollars. I'm gonna go a little bit fast because there's a lot of deals. Uh, the next deal, I paid 150 dollars for it. It's a beautiful track bike with hydraulic disc brakes, uh, and then I sold it for five hundred and forty seven dollars and again I sold this bike very very quick my, my whole goal is to move these units very very fast what I call velocity of money I want my money to constantly work for me okay um, in my course I go into the details of what I'm looking for so I'm not gonna cover it here okay all right I bought this burly trailer for 75 bucks and I was able to sell it for $347. If you don't know what a Burley trailer is, they're very, very expensive and this is on the topper end one. Now I've done many Burley trailers but I didn't include them all in here, okay? All right, um, the next deal, I bought a Fuji bike um, and I paid 100 bucks for it and then I sold it for 347 bucks very, very fast, okay? Um, 
this is a very gorgeous bike. Uh, I bought this bike uh, handmade, made in America, Cannondale. You know, I bought it $100 and then I sold it for $397 bucks very, very fast. Okay. Now, this is a great deal that came to me as well. Uh, and I'll get into where I found these deals. Um, I paid the seller $150. Um, this is the only deal that I couldn't put in my car. But the great news was that the seller had a rack for this type of bike that I put it on top of my car. And the rack itself cost over $300. And the seller just gave it to me for free because, you know, he needed to clear some room uh, for in his garage. And he didn't want one of these because he had three other ones, okay? So um, this this was a made in America. I mean, this thing sold really, really, really fast. It's less than less than one day is sold. Okay, th this was another Cannondale that I picked up. Um, I paid $100 for it. Uh, it was made in America. These are old bikes, but again, they sell really, really fast and I sold it for 400 bucks. Now, this, this, this is a very great story. I went to this guy's house and he had two bikes um, and he had this bike and, and this bike and I paid him $35 each and I sold them for 200 bucks each. So he had this one and this, again, these are not Walmart bikes. These are uh, cruisers, um, they're pretty famous in California. It was, it was actually a company in California that made them. All right. Uh, I bought this track, uh, hybrid bike. I paid $65 for it and I sold it very, very fast for 347 bucks. All right. I bought this bike for 100 bucks as a track, uh, 3,700 and I sold it for 447. Uh, and, and it was pretty decked out. It had lights, it had fenders, etc. All right, I bought this bike for uh, another track for 85 bucks and I sold it for 347 bucks. All right, I bought this Fuji bike, beautiful bike, it was spanking new. Uh, a lot of these bikes are spanking new. As I talked about earlier, most people buy these types of items and don't use it that much. That's why obesity is so high in America, okay? So I bought this bike, but that's a different story. I bought this bike for 100 and I sold it for 300 bucks. Now, this is a great deal. Uh, there's all kinds of deals out there. Um, I bought this bike for 20 bucks and I sold it for 147 bucks, which is like crazy, crazy returns. But the crazy thing was this seller had three bikes. So I wouldn't drive out there just to buy a bike for 20 bucks, but the seller had three bikes and this was just a cherry on the top. All right, I bought another bike from another seller uh, and I paid, paid her 50 bucks and her story was that she was going out of the country and she needed this thing to be gone because she was leaving tomorrow and she couldn't sell it. She was trying to sell it before, but she couldn't sell it. And I had to give her an offer. She hit me back up, said, come pick it up ASAP. And we made the deal happen. Convenience. Uh, I bought this beautiful Cannondale made in America bike uh, for a hundred bucks. And then I flipped it for three forty-seven. All right, I bought another bike for a woman from Track uh, Hybrid. And I and I flipped it and I made 297 very very fast. All these bikes are, are selling really fast again because I'm selling them at a discount. I'm I'm not pricing pricing it at uh, the market value. That's what everyone else does. I'm not pricing it over market value. That's what some sellers do. What I'm doing is I'm pricing it below market value, so I have multiple people contacting me trying to buy it all at one time. Okay, I bought this Cannondale for 100 and I sold it for 297. Okay, uh, I bought this track for 50 bucks and I sold it for 247. All right, I bought this track for 75 bucks and I sold it for 297. All right, I bought this Jameis for 65 bucks and I sold it for 197. Okay, I bought this track for 50 bucks. Uh, beautiful tracks. All these all these bikes are beautiful bikes. It's almost banking new, and I sold it for two ninety seven. I bought this bike for a hundred bucks, and I sold it for three forty seven. And notice that I have my kid with me because I'm grooming her to be an entrepreneur, and she's sitting down taking pictures just like her dad. But that's a different story. Okay, how do I find the bikes at a deep discount? Okay, so number one place to look for is Craigslist. Okay. Um, there are a lot of motivated sellers on Craigslist.com. Okay. The second place to look for is Facebook marketplace. Okay. And the third thing to look for is Facebook groups, like in your Facebook groups or local, um, groups that 
have garage sales. Those are great places to look as well. Okay. The next place to look for hot deals for bikes is uh, offer up. Offer up. Okay. The next place to look for is five miles. And the and this is an app. And these two are apps that you can download in your phone um, marketplace. Do, so basically, you, you're able to find these deals without spending any money in marketing. They're totally free on these platforms. Okay. Now, here's two ways that to find these hot deals. Okay. All right. The very first way is by placing ads. All right. That I buy bikes. You know, I buy bikes. Buy bikes. I place an ads on Craigslist on Facebook. Okay. Now, if you want my exact copy for my ads that have brought me all these types of deals, just leave a comment below, and I'll give you the link so you can download it totally for free. So I'm going to give you my ads for free, guys. If you want to download it, and all you got to do is copy and paste the ad, and then put it into Craigslist.com. Put it into Facebook Marketplace. Put it into Offer Up. Put it into five miles. Now, this is what I call the passive, passive way of finding deals. You just put it there. You put your foot up. You can go on vacation, whatever, and deals will come to you. Um, and and you can expect about get about twenty to twenty five percent of your deals this way. Um, but but it's not going to be enough if you want to do high numbers. Then the other option that you have to do is what I do is um, or what I did is um, what I call active. And the active way is just basically giving offers to sellers on these platforms. So again, I've generated a offer, just copy and paste, and just you know three different copies, copy and paste, and I just give it to these sellers, and they're proven to work. If you're interested in downloading them, then I highly recommend investing in my course uh, for a few bucks. Okay, it's all in there. So on the active part, I will be getting eighty percent plus of my deals in the active part because there are so many sellers that have ads and they're waiting for you know a buyer to come so that's where i come i come and i just give them offers okay and i'm basically giving them super low ball offers okay um to get the deal and then where do i find these sellers where again on craigslist.com on offer up on five miles the same place I'm going to place the ads. It's the same place I'm going to go and give super low ball offers to sellers and get these hot deals and make massive profits. Okay. Um, now, the proactive works the best, but I like to combine it together because I have the uh, passive that's working for me. It'll give me about 20% to 25% of my deals a month. And then proactive and say, hey, I want to buy your bike, etc. Okay. Now, what kind of tools do you need to do this business, okay? Um, so the kind of tools you need are nothing, basically. And I'm going to go run into them right now. And, and I'm sure you have all this stuff right now. Number one, well, you're going to need a phone or a laptop, okay? Because this whole business is done through the phone or a laptop. 90% of it is done through a phone or a laptop, okay? Um, you need to look for these deals, you need a phone laptop. Number two, you're going to need internet, okay? And I'm sure everyone already has an internet on their phone or at their home, etc. okay? Or you can go to a coffee shop. The other thing you're going to need is you're going to need a car. Everyone has a car, okay, uh, or a truck. But you don't even need a truck, unlike flipping furniture. Uh, that's one of the reasons I started this business because I didn't want to lift heavy furniture because I was in the moving business for 15 years, 14 years, and I knew how that sucked. I didn't want to have a storage facility. I wanted to do a business that, you know, that I could pick pick these bikes up. They don't take a lot of space, unlike furniture, and I don't have to have myself or other people come join me and break our bags. Uh, it's something that is very small that I can put into my little Nissan Leaf, uh, which, which is, that's what I have, uh, and be able to do it. And that's why, you know, I love doing bikes because, you know, uh, all I need is just a small car, okay? And once I did my first deal and and i made so much money then what, what i did is i just bought a rack to, to put on there uh, actually i didn't even buy it i got it for free on one of the deals that i did basically i need a car to start off with if i don't have a rack i can take the wheels off or just fold my seats and put it in there this is exactly what i did so anyone can do that but you need a, at least a car okay and all the bikes that i've showed you in in there all fit into my small Nissan Leaf with the exception of that one tri-bike, which again, the seller gave me the rack when I put it on top of my car 
which I got direct uh, from the seller. All right, the other thing I'm gonna need is I'm gonna need water because I need to wash these bikes because a lot of them are dirty. They've been sitting in the lady's garage or the seller's garage. So I just need water and soap. I mean, everyone has that. And then number five is I need to be able to take a picture because it's so important to sell. If you notice in my pictures, all the pictures look beautiful. So I buy from sellers that don't know how to you know, package their bikes. They don't know how to take a picture of it. They don't know how to write a good description of it. They don't understand taking great picture is going to help them sell the bike. So I buy from sellers that don't have the ability to package their goods and bring it to the market. And I buy from them at a deep discount and I, and I package it beautifully with a, put a bowl on top and I sell it at a discount and make massive profits. Okay. So I'm going to need like, like a phone or, you know, a camera and I need to take pictures and then I need to be able to write a, you know, complying story about the bike. Okay. Like it's a gorgeous hybrid bike, you know, that does this and not, the exact as that I have that I've used that I've tried it so many times and I found and I found the best one or in my course. So you can just get it and just copy and paste it depending on what brand of the bike it is. Because I've again I've created a manual in my course. I've created video trainings in my course. I've created the offer letters just you just copy and paste it and give it to the seller. So it is a complete business in a box um, that you can download right from my website, guys. Okay. Um, and that's all the tools you're gonna need, okay, um, to do this deal. Now, I don't, let me let you know, I don't do fix and flippers on bikes. I don't buy ugly bikes. I don't, I don't buy bikes that need work. I don't do that. I buy pretty bikes and I quickly sell them, aka wholesaling them. Okay. Because one of the other reasons that I forgot to mention, created the new flip, okay, which is the name of the course. Uh, why I created this is not only was it to provide for me and my family, my, my new family, uh, but it was also for me to create a idea that allowed my students to make money fast, right, ASAP, um, so they can stack their chips, right, and to, for them to teach them about sales, about negotiation, about inspecting the property, and, and it's basically uh, flipping bikes is is a the same exact thing as flipping houses. The same exact thing. The only difference is the property is different, but it's everything's the same. Okay, and so I would. That's one of the other primary reasons why I created it is because I was tired of my students going to all these expensive real estate seminars, paying thousands of dollars and not making it. And I realized that, you know, flipping houses is a complex business. And if my students could do the new flip, if they could flip bikes and have success with it, will will be a stepping stone for them to go out there and make real estate work for them plus they will have capital because they were flipping bikes to spend in marketing put money down on repairs or put money down on um the deal so anyways guys there's not many tools I, every one of you guys i'm very confident have all these tools right now all right how to start number one you got to find a deal remember we're looking for motivated sellers so you're looking to buy the deal at a deep discount and again sell it at a discount that's the way I do it so I can move the deal as fast as possible. Number two, once I have the deal, I have to package it, which means that I have to do a quick wash. I have to take beautiful pictures of it and I have to write a good sales ad for it. And again, I have all the stuff in my course, so you don't have to write it. You can just download it and copy and paste it. Number three, once you do that, then you're going to have to price it at a discount so it moves fast. At least that's what I do. And number three, you have to exit, which means meet up with the buyer and sell the property and get your cash. So again, just a simple three-step process. Find a deal, package it and put the cherry on top, put the bowl on top, and then exit the deal. Okay. Now, if you're more serious and, and, and you want to fast track this process, if you don't want to make all the mistakes that I have done, then I highly recommend going to the new flip dot com and downloading my course called the new flip my book that tells you exactly how I do the deals I've given you in there the manual that you need my offer letters my ads to sell the bikes and much more and I also have training videos on what you need to look for how to inspect the bike and so on and so on and so on I don't have time to get into it this video has already gone kind of pretty long Okay, so it's all in there and you can get it right now at a special price. Um, and if you have any other questions, leave a comment below.
Much love to you. And remember, don't take no for an answer. You're amazing. You're powerful. You're beautiful. You're strong. You're courageous. And you're your dreams. Much love.